Hey Finks, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finkster.com, and in today's video I will teach you Python's in-place um, operators. So the so the in-place operators, um, uh, I will just go over all of the op operators instead of uh, having a video actually um, um, about each of the individual operators because I think um, so after having introduced all other operators already, the in-place operators are quite simple to understand and if you understand the concept once, you can actually uh, use it to, uh, to understand it for all uh, in-place operators. Okay, so what are in-place operators? In-place operators in Python are also called compound assignment operators. They perform an operation in place. Right, so on a, on a variable provided as the first operand. So uh, we will see an example uh, in a moment. So and then they basically they override the value of the first operand variable uh, with the result of the operation when performing the, uh, op the operator without uh, assignment. So for example, say we have a variable x equals three, and now the in place op so the norm normal addition operator would do something like this. So we have x equals x plus three, for example, which means that we basically increment um, the variable x by three. So this one, we first calculate the result of, uh, of the content of adding three to the, vari to the um, uh, value of variable x, and then we as reassign it to the first operand. And this is a quite common operation. So basically you want to update a variable and the first operand is the variable itself. And this operation is actually so common that Python actually created the in-place operators. And you see in-place operators also called compound operators because they consist of like uh, multiple statements. They consist of uh, the equal symbol, as which is the second symbol. And this is true for all in-place operators in Python. And the first symbol is actually the operator you want to you want to apply, right? So both of those expressions are the same, right? So this one uh, um, first calculates x plus three, x plus three, and then assigns it to the variable x. And this statement basically does it in place, so it performs the same. It's just syn syntactical uh, sugar to uh, to perform the same operation a bit more uh, uh, concisely. So uh, if we now print the content of variable x, what is the result? What do you think? So it's nine, right? Because we started with three, we added three to the variable and and, uh, and uh, assigned the result to the variable x. So now the at this point, the value of variable x is six, and then we increment it by three as well using the um, in-place assignment operator, in-place addition operator. Okay, so this was like the first, this was in-place uh, addition, okay? So we have in-place addition operator is simply this one. Okay, so let's uh, dive into the next one. So we also can have in place su uh, subtraction, and um, it works analog uh, in, 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 in an analogous way. So we have, uh, for example, if you want to reduce the, the content of the variable x, we basically can do the following operation. So we have x equals x minus three. Uh, now the result, the value of x is nine. And we can also use the compound or um, um, in place assignment operator x minus equal three. And you see the equal symbol is always the same for all compound operators. We have this uh, equal symbol as the second operand because we assign something, we assign the result of the, ver of, of the operation. And the first operand is actually um, the operation itself that is performed. So basically, these two operands. First of all, we calculate the minus among those two operands, and then we assign it to the first operand. So we always assign, assign it to the first operand. And of course, the first operand, <laughs> this is my son, <laughs> the first operand should um, uh, should always be a variable, otherwise it wouldn't work, otherwise it would, it would just throw an error. I will not actually showcase it to you because uh, then it would clutter my beautiful shell, <laughs> but uh, I mean, just, just so you know, so the first operand should always be a variable. Otherwise, you cannot perform assignment on the first operand. Okay, so um, uh, so this is uh, the in-place subtraction operator uh, operation. Let's go into the in-place multiplication operation, and in-place multiplication is uh, again the same. So we have, uh, we can calculate x equals x times two, say, uh, currently, the value of x is 6, right? Because we have reduced the value of x by 3. So now it is 6. Now we actually multiply the variable x with 2. So we have 6 times 2 is 12. At, least at this point, variable x contains a value 12. Now we can also use the in-place operation to perform the same operation. Now it's 24 because we have uh, 
um, multiplied the variable by two. Okay, next one. Um, um, so we will have a couple of more, more uh, in place uh, op operators, and I think it's also good training to actually go over all operators once again, so that you know uh, the capabilities of Python. Okay, um, uh, next operation is in place uh, division operation. So we have uh, x equals x divided by two. So uh, this one basically now again we are at. So what is the value of x? It is now 12, so 12.0, uh, so the division operator always returns a float uh, value in Python 3. And we can also do it in place. So we have uh, x divided by equal, so the in place division operation, operation now the result should be 6.0. Let's, let's convert it to an uh, integer value again, because I want to show the other workings um, for other operators as well. Good. Let's have a look at the in place modulo operation and um, it works like this so we have uh, the modulo operation so is this percentage symbol uh, we can for example calculate x modulo 3 which means that we divide by 3 and take the remainder and um, the so if we divide 6 by 3 we actually get 2, remainder 0, so the remainder is 0, the result of the operation should be 0. Okay, let's set x to 6 again and perform the in place modulo operation uh, by 3. The result of x is 0 again. Okay, so it performs the same operation. Always like the in place operation always works the same. Um, next, we check in place integer division and um, again we set. Uh, x to 6 initially. Now we can perform integer division. So we have x divided by 4, say. So we have, if you have 6 divided by 4, what would be the result of the integer division? It is 1. So it divides and actually it skips everything after the decimal point and converts it to an integer. So it rounds uh, the result down to the next integer. And um, let's set it to 6 again. And we can perform the same operation in place. So now these are three symbols for a single operator. So we have the uh, single uh, front slash, front slash and equal symbol um, as one operator. The operation, so the first part is for the integer division. The second part is for the um, assignment. So we have uh, in place integer division assignment operator. And uh, if we print the value of x, again, it's the same, value, same result one. We can have in place power or exponentiation operation, uh, which is, for example, if you have x equals x to the power of 2. So we have 6 times 6. Oh, no, x is currently 1. Okay, so we've, maybe let's first set x to 6. Now we can have x to the power of 2. So we have 6 times 6 is 36. And we can also perform the same operation in place. So we have x in place exponentiation 2, which means that we calculate x to the power of 2 again. And um, let's make it 0.5 so that we actually land uh, at our, like, go back here to our uh, original value x equals 6. And um, now x is the float value of 6. So let's convert it to an integer again. And the next Operate, operator is the in place bitwise and operation. So we have in place bitwise and operator and um, calculate. So the in, so the bitwise and operate operator. Actually, you can check out my video about the uh, bitwise operator. It actually converts the integer um, value to a bit string. So every integer number is, is, is basically a bit string and then it performs the, the operation bitwise. So it basically takes two operands, take two integer operands, converts both of them to a bit string and then it performs bit by bit the operation. So bitwise and, bitwise or, bitwise xor and so on. And uh, so we perform the logical operation on those bit positions uh, one by one and then we obtain the result uh, by converting it back to an integer. So the bit in place bitwise and operation, for example, say we have... Um, um, x equal, so let's make it very simple. So we have 3, and now we perform x bitwise and 
it's uh, this and symbol and um, make it make it three again so we we perform bitwise and on uh, three and three so basically what python performs is now uh, as a comment i would just add this as a comment so we have the bit string so for th for the bit string for uh, a bit string for uh, three is zero one one um because because we have one to the power one times two to the power of zero plus one times two to the power of one um and we perform bitwise and on itself basically on the same instance of this bit string so now we perform bitwise and so we have zero and zero which is zero we have one and one which is one and we have one and one which is one as well so the result is the same bit string right and therefore as you as you see the result of x now at this point is three again itself so it has it hasn't changed okay so this is uh, this is not normal bitwise and operation so now we can also perform it in in place so simply the, we have this and symbol and the equal symbol and three and if you perform bitwise and we get the result three again so this is a bitwise and operation so let's move on to the in place bitwise or operation again we have uh, we we can like um, calculate bitwise or with this vertical bar symbol uh, bitwise or it performs the same operation here uh, um, it only checks basically whether at least one of those uh, bits bit positions is one in this case uh, it would perform the same operation right because if we um, print x the result is three as well and we can also perform bitwise or on uh, in place with this opera, uh, with this compound operator consisting of the vertical bar for the in, for the bitwise or operator and the equal symbol for the assignment. Um, similarly, we can have in place bitwise x or operator. And um, now this is this is a bit more interesting. Maybe um, we can have so many people actually don't know the this symbol so if they see this symbol they assume it's exponentiation but it isn't it is just exp uh, the x or the exponenti exponentiation operator is just a, a double star that's double asterisk operator um if you if you if you use uh, this bitwise or operation <laughs> uh operator um we we perform these two bitwise x or uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm a bit confused now um, we, I'm, I'm a man girlfriend, okay? Come try to be. Um, we perform bitwise, bitwise uh, x or so we we check if exactly one of the bit positions is one, and uh, if both are one, actually the the result is zero. If if both are zero, the result is zero. So only if they are different, the result is one. So therefore, uh, we get the uh, the result uh, zero. Why is that? Because again, we perform uh, zero one one bitwise and 0 1 1 so these are the bit strings of our of my integer 3 and if you now compare the positions bitwise they are always the same so therefore the big bitwise oper oper bit the result of the bitwise operation is uh, 0 0 0 okay and we can perform the same uh, in place give to we uh, perform the same operation uh, in place and you can you can now see um <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, most cha chaotic uh, uh, video I, I, I did for a long time. Uh, so if, uh, if you perform the same operation in place, it uh, actually um, now now the value of x is actually zero. So therefore, if we if we uh, combine zero with three as an x or operation, it basically all of the bits are different. So therefore, we obtain the or original value x again. Good. So this was the bitwise uh, x or in place bitwise x or operation. We can also have in place bitwise shift right operation or right shift operation uh, this is pretty simple so it shifts the bits position by by a number of positions to the right so therefore so for example we can shift it by one position to the right so therefore like if you have a bit string we basically shift all of them by one position on the right and and uh, and yeah, fill in uh, the remaining bits and uh, so basically if you shift by the right uh, the value of x. So maybe we should start with 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 uh, with something more meaningful. So say variable x is eight. Now we can shift it by one position to the right, 
Um, this is just shorthand for, so let's first print the, the result. So basically shifting it to the right halves um, the value, the integer value of the, uh, of the um, uh, operand on which we apply it. Um, so it, it, it divides it by two because every bit position is, is basically a means. It is an exponent, um, to, uh, it, it, it is um, two to the power of X, right? And if we shift it by one position, it's two to the power of X minus one. So therefore we divide each value of the bit. So each, each, each bit position we divide by two by shifting it by one position to the right. And uh, this is the same as calculating X equals X shifted by one position to the right and uh, we divide by two again. Good, we can also have in place bitwise shift left and this is just um, works uh, in a very similar similar fashion. I will not show the original one, so the original operation would look like this somehow. Uh, so we can position uh, shift by one position to the left and if you print x now again you can see by shifting it one position to the left we increase the value of the value of each individual bit because now if the bit was set to one at, at position two to the power of um, x and we shift it by one position to the left it is now two to the position of two to the power of x plus one so therefore we have doubled essentially doubled so to, to, to the power of x plus one the exponent is increased by one so therefore we have doubled the value of this individual bit and the result of of the overall uh, computation is therefore doubling the, the the number and so for example if x is uh, five we can also use non in place bitwise bitwise shift operation by perform by calculating x equals x say we shift by two positions so now x uh, is the value 20 right because we have first of all we double five it is 10 then we double five again it is 20. okay so um I think that's 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 all. So we have uh, covered all in place uh, Python in place uh, operators. Thanks for watching this video, and see you in the next video. Bye.